Hello, my name is Paul Stockdale from ABCPE, the site where we try and make VCE physical education as easy as ABC. Today I'd like to talk to you about fatigue and recovery, in particular fuel depletion. That's the first cause of fatigue there. Remember that fatigue, fatigue, uh, the word leads us towards the three causes we need to know. Uh, fuel depletion can be PC or glycogen, and let's focus on PC in the first instance. This happens during anaerobic events, very high intensity, short duration events of less than 20 seconds, and the great man Usain Bolt is a really good example of that. Let's have a look at him perform his 100 meter sprint, and it'll give us an idea of how he fatigues towards the end of his event. So Usain Bolt is in lane four. I'd like you to watch the top right hand corner of the screen for the 10 meter splits as we go through. And at the 70 meter mark, Bolt hits his fastest split. That's why it's red of 0.81. And then we'll slow down from here. And the question is why? Why is he slowing down? And the only answer could be that his PC stores are depleting, he's getting greater contributions from his anaerobic glycolysis system. That system produces ATP at a slower rate, therefore he must slow down. But not too much, I might add. So I hope that clarified it a little bit, and even the great man uh, will fatigue towards the end of a 100 meter event. Now, uh, let's look at some questions and how we might go about answering it. And my tip would be that uh, try and break things down into the what, how, why, and how. What causes the fatigue, uh, in this instance, PC depletion? Why does it fatigue us? Well, it de the PC depletes, and therefore the anaerobic glycolysis system uh, increases its contribution and this system produces ATP at a slower rate and then finally how does it affect performance the athlete in this instance slows down because they just can't complete the contractions as quickly or as forcefully. Uh, PC recovery uh, takes 70% in 30 seconds and about 98% in two to three minutes uh, the only way or the fastest way that we can replenish PC is to sit stand or lie part of a passive recovery. I want to take you through this exam question. This is a very difficult uh, exam question from 2019. Uh, we won't get all eight marks here because we're just looking at PC depletion, but this is the phosphate recovery test. I'll give you an opportunity to read it. Well, let's see how I would go about answering this. This is a, a energy system interplay question. So, as well as a fatigue and recovery question. So we need to answer it slightly differently to the uh, formula that I've given you. Uh, we need to begin with um, the classic interplay generic statement that all energy systems will contribute intensity duration, determines which one's dominant. Then we start to go into the fact that for that first second, uh, seven second sprint, it's most definitely a high intensity short duration sprint. Eight cones are each because we're using our fastest energy system the ATP PC system, but we've only got limited supply in the muscle. And to be honest with you, 23 seconds of passive rest won't cut it. Um, we're not going to be able to replenish all of our PC stores, even though we haven't used them all. So as we go through this test, uh, we're going to deplete our PC and we get more and more contribution from the anaerobic glycolysis system and indeed the aerobic system towards the end of the test. These systems produce ATP at a slower rate than the ATP PC system. Therefore, they, we have to slow down and we reach fewer and fewer cones. I wonder how you went. The second part of fuel depletion is glycogen depletion, and this happens in aerobic events that go beyond 90 minutes. We've got approximately 90 to 120 minutes of stores of glycogen in the muscles and then the liver. Uh, if we run out of those, uh, it's often called hitting the wall. You'll hear marathon runners say, I hit the wall. It means they slow down dramatically. Uh, and the reason they're slowing down is they're switching to fats as the significant fuel supply supply for the aerobic system. And fats 
um, are a far more complex molecule to break down. This gives you a bit of an idea, and we certainly don't need to know this, but uh, the aerobic glycolysis system is less complex. It requires less oxygen. Uh, it won't give us as much ATP, but it's our preferred fuel source. Aerobic lipolysis gives us more ATP, but requires more oxygen. It's a far more complex breakdown. It produces ATP at a much slower rate. Let's have a look at an exam question. And again, we break it down into what, why, and how. And here is said exam question. Give you a moment to read and answer. How did you go? Um, let's have a look at how I would answer that. So we start with the what. The cause of fatigue is glycogen depletion. Um, there's no mention of how hot it is, so it's leading me to glycogen depletion. So the bo body will use fats predominantly. They produce ATP at a slower rate because they require more oxygen to break down. They're a more complex molecule to break down. This will cause the athlete to slow. And I've used data there just to nail it by saying that the last split took an hour and 19 seconds. There's VCAR's uh, examiner report answer. I wonder how you went. It seemed like it was fairly well answered. Um, thank you very much for watching today. My name's been Paul Stockdale. If you want more information on our student and teacher learning resources, please go to our website, www.abcpe.com.au. Bye.